<clears throat> uh, you know, as offense, I thought we did good today moving the ball. Uh, we pushed the ball. Uh, you know, we were catching and or we were throwing and catching and got down to the red zone and um, we just didn't finish. Uh, poor job of finishing today. Um, turning the ball over in, in key situations where uh, we need points. So, um, you know, a lot of it was self-inflicted and uh, we have to be better. Yeah, I mean, when <laughs> when you're getting close to scoring and you've had a great drive and you put the ball on the ground or or you throw it to the other team, um, you know, your drive is over uh, and, and, you know, you turn the ball over. And so, and, you know, nobody likes to see that. Um, I definitely didn't like to feel it when it happened to me. Um, but uh, just something we can learn from, um, you know, be smarter with the ball and, and uh, be more protective of it. Uh, he does a jo uh, great job getting open. Um, you know, fast twitch guy, great hands, and you know understands his position and, and how to get open. And so, um, when you have a guy like that, it, it's good to get the ball to him. I mean, I thought throughout the whole game we, you know, we had a couple of hiccups on some drives, but when we got the the momentum going in our tempo, I thought we really affected them, um, which led to us getting down close to the red zone, and then, um, like I said earlier, just self-inflicted wounds. Um, but I thought, you know, we matched up well physicality from a, from that standpoint, and um, you know, we played hard and uh, just unfortunately didn't come out with the win. <clears throat> Uh, it was, you know, it was pretty difficult. Uh, they haven't played. Uh, they have a brand new staff. You don't know, you know, they could come out in something totally different than what you prepared for that week um, or what you thought they were going to run uh, defensively and offensively. So, um, you know, there was a lot of unknown. Um, but, uh, you know, once they established themselves uh, th throughout the game, um, we should have known kind of what, what they were going to be. And so, um, we, you know, just have to execute better. But it, it was tough um, coming into the game kind of blind. <clears throat> Uh, I just say that um, for me and, and my turnovers that, you know, late in the game, I'm trying to make a play uh, and I, you know, I forced the ball that I shouldn't have forced. Um, and then earlier just, uh, you know, di didn't really see see the backer sitting there. Um, thought I had a guy open, but, uh, you know, he's kind of cut in the middle of the field. Um, and then down on the goal line, you know, when I get tackled, I got to hold on to the ball and know when to, to stop competing and, you know, just take a sack. Um, don't need to make it worse. So that's that's what I'm going to take from today and, and try to get better at. Hey, Victor, um, you guys did a really good job of containing in the first half minus their first drive. What did you see different in the second half that led you guys to allow them to score so much? Um, we just kept playing. I mean, they did a better job in the second half. We just have to prepare better next time. Um, we could just live and learn from it. Um, I wouldn't call it frustrating, but um, he was a good quarterback. Um, 
you know, we try to get pressure on him, try to get sacks on him. But he did a great job avoiding those pressures and sacks. And um, we just have to learn from it, get back to work this week in practice, and um, just build on what we have right now. Uh, Max from the Chronicle. Max, go ahead. Yeah, hey, Peter. Um, just wanted to ask, uh, it seemed like uh, BC exploited a lot in a lot of secondary and uh, on play action in the second half. What do you like? What do you think that you know they adjusted, or do you just think that as the game wore on, it just became more apparent that was that was what we were for them? Um, they did a good job adjusting. Um, you know, we had some busts, we um, made some mistakes, but we just have to learn from that. Um, I mean, it happens; it's part of the game. Um, it's the early in the season. We just have to keep working on that and build on that. Hi. Uh, what was Coach Cutcliffe's message to you guys in the locker room after the game? Um, he said we have a lot of talent. Um, we just have to keep building on this, working hard in practice. Um, we have a lot of talent, so we just have to keep working and um. Try to improve as a team. Uh, Jim Summer, go ahead. Uh, they count some mistakes uh, earlier on. How many of those mistakes were due to in particular defenses on the field a long time in the second half? Um, I just felt like they made the plays that they had to make, and um, you know. We just have to keep building on that. Um, we made some mistakes in the second half, and um, that's, we can't blame anybody but us. And um, we just have to keep working on that. That's why I keep repeating that. We just have to keep working on that. We can't blame anybody but ourselves. Oh, we got time for one more question. We're going to Chapel Fowler. Chapel, go ahead. Hey, Victor. Um, you came within half a sack of Duke's single game record that's stood since 1949. Can you kind of take me through what you were seeing out there for your personal success? Um, we have a good old line. I mean, they had a good old line, um, and we have a good D line. So it wasn't me. It was my teammates doing a great job, um, taking on double teams, um, pressure off the other edge. So it wasn't just me. It was um, also the coaches making great calls. So, I mean, it wasn't me. It was a team effort. I just happened to make the plays.